This is Challenges, my brand new hardcore Iron Man that will take on your challenges as I progress the account and eventually unlock every single item from the wilderness. However, if I die, the series ends. In the last episode, we finally unlocked Desert Treasure, meaning we can go into the wilderness with a lot more safety in our belt. And we're gonna start off today with a brand new challenge which comes from Joel. And he wants me to add all the wilderness diaries to my goals on this account, which we're gonna do. And since this is the first time we're doing the challenge, we're gonna do the easy task to begin with. We have completed a lot of them already, but we still have six more tasks to complete. So the sixth task we have to do is to mine an iron ore, equip a team cape, teleporting using the abyss, cast a low arc in the wilderness, have prayer restore, and pray at the altar for the final thing, and we're done. Raibu survives this time, but next time I come back here, I'm killing everyone, even on my hardcore Iron Man. And there we go, we have the Wilderness Sword 1 completed. Uh, we also got the Antique Lamp, which we're gonna use on, I think we're gonna put it on crafting. Uh, 2.5k for 50 crafting, beautiful. And one more thing not many people know about is that if you talk to the Lesser Fanatic one more time and ask for another sword, he will hook you up with a new Lawnmower 3.0 from Manscaped, which also happens to be today's video sponsor. So Manscaped hooked me up with a bunch of tools from their all-in-one performance package kit. So no matter if you have a dragon dagger or a dragon longsword, it's worth checking out. First of all, let me show you the new Lawnmower 3.0 waterproof trimmer with advanced skin safe technology, which reduces nicks and cuts. The Lawnmower 3.0 is a cordless trimmer that has a built-in LED light, really helpful for grooming during those cold, dark winter nights. And this is my favorite item in the performance kit, the ball deodorant called Crop Preserver. It's very underrated and very useful. The package also includes the ball toner spray, both these bottles are game changing. And besides these bottles, we also get the Weed Whacker Nose Hair Trimmer. My nose hair grows like a goblin so I definitely needed this. And for a limited time, you get all this plus two free gifts. The Shed Travel Bag and the Manscaped Anti-Shaving Boxer Briefs. Go to manscaped.com today and get 20% off plus free international shipping plus two free gifts when you use my link in the description down below. Your balls will thank you. In the next episode we will be completing the medium achievement diary, but for now the easy diaries have been completed. The dream item I want to obtain on this account is obtaining one of the three wilderness weapons, the Vigora Chain Mace, the Crossbow or the Thamarin Scepter. These three items have the highest drop rate in the game, and the grind for one of these three items is gonna take months, maybe even years. So I feel like I need to kill some revs in every single episode to even have a chance. Ooh, our first drop, Dragonstone Bolt Tips. Oh my god. Well, that's a peak here. As you can see on the screen, this is the Revenant Cave. And if we zoom down here to the bottom, we will be able to see that there's Revenant Imps in this part of the cave. There's a Revenant Goblin in this part of the cave. And there's a Revenant Hobgoblin in this part of the cave. So we're gonna run between these three and just kill them one by one until we get some unique items. And just have a look at how the drop table is looking here. Second drop, add the bars. Onyx tip bolts, all right, I'll take it. Oh, there we go. Our first Revenant teleport. The Revenant cave teleport is actually the eighth wilderness unique item I could unlock. Previously, I've said that there's 37 wilderness items, but I was wrong. There's actually more. I need to recalculate how many there actually is. This Revenant imp will mark the 100 kill. We're gonna check the looting bag from 100 kills here. It's not too much, we got some add the bars. The best drop is the battle staffs and the Revenant teleport, but a lot of young to be honest. <gasps> no! Oh my god, that's a unique item. Ancient crystal. That's a huge unique item. Ancient crystal. We need four of those to make a thing in our house. Alright, I pulled up the runescape wiki, here's the revenant hobgoblin. And if we go down to the rare drop tables, the ancient statuettes, we got the ancient crystal here, a drop rate in 1 in 2300. Would have been nice with an emblem or a totem or a statuette, but you know, the crystal, 
Very nice drop. Finally, we got the Bracelet of Ethereum. If we actually get that Wilderness Weapon, we're gonna need a lot of the Ethereum to uh, sustain the weapon. Before we go back to the Revenant Cave, we're going to attempt to complete Sakura's challenge of obtaining a Black Dehyde Body from the Deranged Archaeologist. We currently have the Red Dehyde Body, so this will be a great upgrade for the account. Kill count number one for a Crystal Key. Oh, kill count number 10, and the grind and the challenge have been completed. Let's get out of here. 10 kill count. We are definitely under drop rate. The drop rate was 1 in 21 kills, and we got it in 10. Dead? First or killed? Was it worth it? We got blood runes. Well, that's a peak here. Venge peak here. Holy shit. He's running for me. Wait, where is he? Is he coming for me? He stole my orc! Super restores, that's a big drop because I can't make them yet. He's coming for me! He really wants me, that stagma guys! What the hell is that? Is that a- He just joined- Level 30 joined my world! This is a hardcore. He hot. Oh! I thought he logged in on another account! <laughs> Oh my god. He was a rev killer. And I thought he was a PK here. I panic teleported. So I got three brimstone keys here. We're gonna open them real quickly. I don't know what I want. Rubies, I actually want those. We play flakes, good cash. And cash. Three good keys. For those of you who aren't familiar with the rev caves, it's the number one most popular peaking spots in the wilderness. So at any moment in time, a PK can log in and start attacking me. Oh, another bracelet. Oh no. We got our second ancient crystal. From an impling. Oh my, the drop rate gotta be huge from this one. The drop rate to get an ancient crystal from an impling is 1 in 8,000. Great. For some reason, a lot of you want to see me complete Dragon Slayer. I've been avoiding this quest for such a long time because once you complete this quest, you get assigned Iron and Steel Dragon Slayer task, which is the worst task in the game. That was the hardest boss fight in my entire life. Elvarg have been killed. Take his head. Do we get experience now? Oh no, Jagex is about to stop me from completing Dragon Slayer. Oh no, that's so bad. Alright, there we go. Dragon Slayer have been completed. We have gained four defense levels. And that's one additional combat level. Okay, it's not too bad. But okay, our rune pure has officially been broken. Hola. Is he gonna come and PK me? He just asked me how I am. Should I be worried? Oh, this is a nice drop. Rune plate plagues. And that's 88 range. It's taken me like two minutes to kill this hobgoblin. It heals so much. Star Gams is back. Haha! <laughs> I got my revenge on him. The grind for full rogue armor has begun. We're gonna start with the um, top, maybe? Does it even matter? Hey, we got the top. And a second armor piece. Beautiful. And that's the third piece. We got piece number four. The boots. Broke equipment. Give me the gloves. Beautiful. There we have it. We got the full set. We're actually gonna do some thieving for seeds. So this will be my home for the next few hours. And if you don't like this video right now, I'm taking my rogue's outfit and stealing everything from your pocket. Look at all the seeds we have got, and you can see there's a lot of placeholders, that's because I've been farming a lot. 200 runners and a bunch of more, and we have gained like 5 farming levels. But now since we started with Achievement Diary in this video, we might as well complete all the easy ones. I realized that we need some Herbor experience, and that's Karamia completed, and that is Varrock completed, Lumbridge and Drainer completed, Falador completed, and that's the Easy Desert completed, and that's the Fremenic completed. Alright, so we have completed 8 Easy Achievement Diaries. For the rest of the ones, we need to complete some quests here, so I see BA right now. We're gonna open these antique lamps, put it on Herblor. That's 36 Herblor. 37 Herblor. 39 Herblor? Okay. And that's 40 Herblor. We can now make uh, prayer potions, which I haven't been able to do before. 41 Herblor. 
42 herblor, 43 herblor, 44 herblor, 45 herblor, 46. And there we go, 57 thieving. This is actually a big level because now I have officially access to the grubby chest and I can get Saradomin brews. So the plan is simple here. We're gonna sell some items, get some cash, then we're gonna buy a heavy amount of burst runes, and then we're gonna get a heavy clump of temple spiders and just burst them. These spiders have a drop rate 1 in 100 of dropping a grubby key. With this grubby key, we can then unlock the grubby chest for a 1 in 10 chance of getting Sardomian Bruce. Second grubby key? Uh, nothing. 500 temple spiders have been killed and we got one more grab a key, but we get no bruise at all I'm out of burst, so I gotta take the slower method which is killing undead druids But I can just afk this for such a long time. All right, we got three more keys. Here we go Never lucky never lucky for nothing. Uh I Got four uniques from an easy clue. What is this clue? It's so good. Look at all the fashion scape. I just got Nice, let's continue this farm run. All right, one more grubby key, and nothing. Another grubby key, nothing. And another grubby key, no bruise, no bruise at all. Hey, 89 range from not getting any Saradomian bruise. I have a good feeling about this grubby key. It was a bad, bad feeling. All right, we got another grubby key, finally. We finally got the bruise! Six doses of Saradomian bruise, actually really really beautiful. We're gonna take these bruise to the wilderness in the next episode of Challenges. And you may be wondering how many revenants did we actually kill here, so we're gonna take a look here. 609 revenants, I think that's f around 500 in this episode alone. Two ancient crystals and the loot tab looks pretty much like this. We got some runes in another tab, but yeah, five bracelets and a bit of supplies. So if you like the risk I'm taking on this hardcore Iron Man and want to see more, give this video a like. And if you haven't, make sure to subscribe right now.